Well, here we are back in Solano. It's April 11th. Uh, it's been cold. Uh, we arrived about five days ago. And since then, it's been extremely windy. So if you really didn't have a chance to get the boat ready in the last five days, I did, the, I did do some work uh, down, downstairs. I serviced the engine, the batteries. Everything downstairs seems to be in working order, but we need to put the sails up and then um, make sure all the, the uh, standing and running rigging is in good shape. So we're probably going to use the next, um, I think maybe three to four days to get the boat ready for the season. Most people think the cruising lifestyle is all about sailing all day long and sipping your champagne in a beautiful anchorage in the evening. But that's not simply true. The reality is we spent most of our time attending CB, whether it's uh, maintaining her or fixing what is broken, than actually sailing or enjoying beautiful anchorages. CB spent the winter in Croatia and it took us almost three weeks to get her ready for her shakedown sail for 2022. Starting from simple things such as replacing your courtesy flag because of the strong bore winds during the winter, washing and rewashing your decks because of the strong Yugo wind that blows Sahara sand over the Mediterranean, to more serious stuff such as water leaks and finally engine failure. One thing you quickly realize is simple projects may take forever to get fixed. After two weeks of preparation, we finally thought the boat was ready. But as we were getting ready for our shakedown sail, our blowed Volvo Penta engine started acting up. The first thing I noticed was the LCD screen between the tachometer will start blinking and soon after the engine will die. After a quick online research and talking to the local Volvo mechanic, the diagnosis was a dreaded MDI failure. Let's take a look at what MDI failure may look like on your Volvo Penta engine. Volvo attempted to fix this issue by redesigning the circuit board within the interface, but was not successful up until 2017. Fortunately, Volvo did issue a recall on pre-2017 MDI boxes and ours was replaced under that recall. However, the process is not as straightforward. You have to work with your local authorized Volvo Penta technician who will actually put the claim on your behalf. This little black box is about 800 euros and it's prone to fail. So if you're unsure whether or not your MDI box on your Volvo Penta engines qualify under this recall, the best thing you can do is go to Volvo Penta website, type in your serial number and they will list all the recalls on that engine. By the time we deemed CB seaworthy again, Danielle had to fly back to the United States for a business trip, which gave me the opportunity to single hand a sailboat for the first time. left Solano Marina this morning and um, this marina has been our home base for the last 18 months or so uh, and our contract expired today so we decided not to renew the contract and because we are planning on uh, leaving Croatia and um, sailing south to Montenegro and hopefully after that to Corfu now this is kind of an interesting moment for me because um, Danielle left uh, two days ago for a business trip. She is in the United States. Uh, she's going to be gone for a week. And that means I don't have a marina. I don't have a help on board. So this is the first time I'm uh, single-handling CB. Actually, this is the first time I'm single-handling any boat. We've been through a lot, but just wait. 
I've been anchoring around. Um, it's been great. The weather is phenomenal. Today is the first day I'm gonna actually take her to sailing. Well, here's some not so good realities of our cruising lifestyle. I came to this beautiful anchorage called uh, Uvala Luput last night and I was the only one at anchor. I mean, as you can see, it's a huge bay. There's a lot of room for a lot of boats to anchor. So, um, so I anchored here last night and um, this morning the gentleman behind me came rushing into the bay with his anchor dangling at the bow, hitting the hole constantly. And out of all the spaces that you see around here, he decided to drop the anchor right next to me. And he dropped a bunch of chain on the top of the anchor. So about an hour ago, all his crew and himself uh, hump on the dinghy and they left. I don't know where they went. Um, so right now it's very calm. Uh, but you know tonight the, uh, the weather is going to veer and it's gonna come from northeast and then if his anchor drags he's gonna be I shouldn't say if when his anchor drags he's gonna be right on the top of me fortunately the skipper of the charter boat returned back a couple hours later sobered up in an unusual way collected his anchor and left Tonight is our last night in Dubrovnik and tonight is our last night in Croatia. Uh, if everything goes according to the plan, we will wake up early in the morning tomorrow and leave ACI Marina Dubrovnik, which we are currently, and down, down to the channel to Gruj, uh, to the customs office and we will check out from there. And after that, we will be on our way to south to uh, Montenegro. So let me show you guys what that is on the chart so this is we are, where we are currently the customs office in Gruj which is right over here and now we're going to check out here and then sail south to another chart and come down here into the Bay of Kotor. Uh, so our destination is located here, it's Porto Montenegro. So we're looking forward to it, I'm excited. Uh, the weather looks good, so hopefully we don't have any issues with the customs. I think we have all the paperwork ready. We are dreamers of the So we are approaching the customs office in Dubrovnik, which is right over there. I am a bit nervous and excited at the same time because this is going to be my first time checking out of a country on my own boat. We just checked out of Croatia at the uh, uh, customs office at Cruz in Dubrovnik and uh, I have to say it was a very um, smooth experience so I have heard and seen some um, uh, horrible 
uh, stories, but um, that wasn't my experience. Everything went uh, super smooth. Uh, we had all our papers ready, so I suggest if you guys are planning to check out from Dubrovnik, uh, get your uh, paperwork ready. That's your vignette, your tourist tax, your uh, passports, and your registration, and you will not have any problems. So we are on our way to south. Uh, the weather is calm right now. I think we're probably gonna be in Tiwat, Montenegro uh, late afternoon. Uh, it is about uh, 9 o'clock right now as we are exiting the, the Dubrovnik Bay.